not that. Jeez, where? Oh, maybe it's. Ah, where is that stuff? Oh. No. Isn't it frustrating when you go to a company's website and you're trying to find something and it's just like in that illustration where you're digging through what seems to be a junk drawer, trying to sort through all the words on the homepage and the menu and the navigation and in the footer, trying to find what you're looking for and can't. There's too much stuff in the way. It's like digging through a trash can. On earth is... Oh. Hey, what's up? It's Chavid Landscape Leadership. So in the last several videos, we've been talking a lot about words, which words you're choosing on your website's homepage. If you're a lawn care or landscaping company and you're trying to turn as many website visitors into leads, these are great tips for you. So this last segment, we're gonna talk about some of the words that are necessary that you kinda of wanna have within reach, but you don't want to have them kind of right out there. So in essence, that kind of analogy of a junk drawer, you want them to be easily to be found, but not to be cluttered with a bunch of mess because you need leads. So stay tuned to today's video for some great tips. I'm gonna show you a few examples of things that you should be doing. I decided to protect the innocent and not pull up just some random lawn care and landscaping websites to show you how you shouldn't be doing this because I really don't wanna offend anybody. But look at the contrast of what I'm suggesting you should do compared to what your website looks like and the ones that you're seeing. Now, some points that you should understand right from the get-go, less is more. The less words that you have up here in this navigation and throughout the website, within reason, means the less options for your website visitors' eyes to go elsewhere or to do other things. So, think about navigation. What's really common is people often have six, seven, eight, nine, even 10 different main words across the navigation. Each of those have several drop downs, which I'm not saying drop downs are bad, but there's all sorts of places where website visitors can go. Think about this as kind of like directing cattle. You have a chute where you want them to go. So there's a couple choices and a couple paths. Now, there are a few things in here you want to be available to existing clients, like paying their bill, maybe even job recruits like a career center, and a phone number link that's clickable on mobile to call. But if you see what we did here, we have a call to action that's gonna follow you around the website no matter where you scroll the page. And there's really three options up in this navigation. Keep them clear and concise. One word, maybe two words if possible. Just give the people the push in the right direction. So what about all those really important things? The things that you might not wanna access right away, but you wanna have them available if people wanna find them. Just like in a junk drawer, you need a place for them. You need a place where they're organized, but they're not distracting. They're not in the way of what you really need to find. So let me show you how you can use your website's footer to take some of those important things and file them away in a more sensible place. So as you scroll down on Kingstown's homepage uh, or anywhere through their website, you'll see that in the footer, there's a bunch of other resources or places that you can go. So again, stick with simple. So when most people come to a website, they'll land on a blog post or the homepage or service page, and you wanna unclutter it as best as you can. Now, if they have other things that you think they might be interested in, you might wanna put them down lower because the goal is to first direct them in a path and get them to convert into a lead. So these are some of the words that you might wanna include. Again, be as concise as you possibly can, organize these in a fashion that makes sense with you know sub menus and items underneath there give additional links the same things you might have put up in the header you might decide to also put again in the footer uh, that way if someone calls the office you can say you can go to the top of the website anywhere or bottom of our website and you can look for the word that says pay your bill any of those things you can be organized in a very clear fashion and that's it this concludes the series on the words on your website's homepage, where you should use them, how you should use them, which ones to use, which ones not to use. I hope it was really helpful. I hope your lawn care and landscaping website starts to generate more leads. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, or go back and watch some of the previous videos. 
Thanks a lot. Here's to cleaning out your junk drawer. Hope you have a really great day.